What's up, MD? It's John De La Rosa here. We're in Las Vegas in Gold's Gym. Just finished up a photo shoot with Per Bernal. I'm honored to have uh, actually had the opportunity to shoot with him. The uh, photos came out great. Um, it's been a long day. I'm very, very tired, but uh, also very excited to be a new IFBB pro and uh, heavyweight champ of the USA's this year. Um, you know, my journey to the USA's this year was a very, very hard one. Um, you know, I, I, as most of you know, I work a, a full-time job, and this is a hobby of mine. And, uh, you know, more and more, the harder I work, I've been getting closer and closer to making my dream of becoming a uh, top IFBB uh, bodybuilder uh, reality. So uh, it's just, uh, you know, I haven't even had any time to take in my the recent victory. But, uh, man, I can tell you, it's as I settle in and... Uh, kind of relax a bit it's it's becoming more and more surreal it's unbelievable the feeling um, you know and there's gonna be a lot more of me to come you know I'm not gonna stop here I'm gonna continue to try and get better and you know bring up my weak areas a lot of people criticize me for my back and my conditioning on and so on and so forth so you know we're gonna tweak some some things with my diet this off season and uh, try and make my, my weaker areas grow and, and also focus on keeping myself harder in the off season so that way we could, you know, get ready further or, or closer to a show and know what we're working with. It was my first year working with George Farah. Um, we started working together eight weeks before the competition. So it was a learning experience for both of us. And um, uh, I think it was a great move for me. And, you know, it's starting a new relationship with somebody and, you know, we can learn off each other and, and hopefully great things will come from it. Uh, most of you know that I train with Victor Martinez. He's a big brother to me. He's a mentor, whatever you want to call him. Um, he's a big part of my life. Um, you know, he we train together often um, and we're going to continue to train together often. He's uh, eight weeks from the Olympia at this point. So, uh, you know, we've already spoken. As soon as I get back, you know, it's back to the grind. It's, you know, I'm not going to stop training. i got to help him get ready for the Olympia. I want him to be at his best, and he will be. Um, he's still in contention for that Mr. Olympia title. I think he's got one of the best physiques out there. And, um, you know, he's been uh, instrumental in my prep, and I, I think it's only right if I give back to him what he's given to me, and that's just the extra push you know, and the reassurance that he's got somebody there to count on all the time. Uh, as far as me competing in the future, uh, you know, I haven't really decided what show I'm going to be doing. More, more than likely, I'm going to be doing the New York Pro. I don't know if it's going to be uh, this coming May or if it's going to be... I may do another show. I, I'm not really too sure what I'm doing. Um, I do know I'm going to continue to train hard, and, and I want to be a good pro. I don't want to be a, a pro that's going to be you know, battling it out for, you know, 10 through 15. I want to be in the top five, you know, I want to be in the top 10. Um, and my goal is to be a future Mr. Olympia, uh, future Arnold Classic title holder. You know, those are the things that we all want as bodybuilders, and I'm not going to stop until I get there. But as for right now, I'm not really too sure what I'm doing. Um, but keep your eyes peeled. I, I will be getting ready, and I will be making improvements. And when I'm ready to let the world know what, I'll, what I'm doing, MD will be the first to know. As always, you know, uh, I've said it before, and I'm going to say it again. Yeah, this is this is by far the hardest sport that you'll ever come across. I've I've played all sports, all types of sports, and this is uh, definitely a very tough sport. And it's uh, behind the scenes, it's a, it is a team sport. Although it, it seems like it's a very individual sport, it, it's a team sport. You don't get to the stage on your you know on your own. You have uh, the support of your family, your friends, um, and. Uh, I, I, I by no means am I falling short of any of that. I have uh, an incredible family that pushes me, my brothers and my sisters, my parents, uh, my girlfriend, all my friends. They're, they're unbelievable. They're instrumental in, in, in my life and in my prep. Um, Victor Martinez, um, MHP and Gerard Dente. Uh, there's so many people that I'd love to thank and, and, and you know, send my love to. I'm a little fried right now after doing these photo shoots, but... Uh, you know, if I missed you, I'm sorry. Uh